Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and this is our review of the Lenovo Tab S8. So the S8 is Lenovo's first tablet running on an Intel SoC and with Android. They have already a bunch of Windows-based tablets running the same SoC because this is the Intel Atom Z3745D. So that's the quad-core x86 running at 1.33 GHz going up to 1.86 GHz on its turbo. It is an 8-inch tablet. It is launching for just under 200 euros. It's 199 euros in Germany, and it is also available in a version with an LTE modem, which we have right here, that will cost you 249 euros. I guess the U.S. prices will be pretty much the same if this device ever makes it to the U.S. And so it's... A pretty cheap tablet, but it has a lot to offer because what we have right here is an 8-inch panel on the front. That's an IPS screen uh, running at a resolution of 1920 by 1200 in a 16 by 10 form factor. So definitely a full HD screen on here. The whole thing is just under 8 millimeters thick. It's actually 7.9 millimeters thick, and it weighs in at just 299 grams in the Wi-Fi version. This LTE model right here comes in at 307 grams. Um, it's definitely a very well made dev device. We have 2 gigs of RAM in here and there's 16 gigs of flash storage. You can extend the storage through this micro SD card slot that's over here on the left. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Spec-wise, we have Wi-Fi in here, there's Bluetooth in here. I don't think there is a GPS module in here. And another thing that's kind of odd, but it's also happening on a bunch of other Intel-based devices, is that you have to live without a brightness sensor, but I'll show you that later on. There are no capacitive touch buttons on here, so Intel and Lenovo are going the way of the onboard, on-screen uh, touch buttons. As you can see down here, there are two front-facing speakers on this device, so this offers a very good stereo sound. The um, edges of the screen, or the bezel, is pretty small, but they're wasting a bit of space at the bottom and the top for those speakers. We have a 1.6 megapixel camera up there on the right, and what's very interesting for a device at this price point is that this tablet has an 8 megapixel camera using a BSI sensor on the back. It's got autofocus and an LED flash, so very well equipped in the camera department right here. Let's take a quick look at the sides now. We have behind this flap is where your micro SD card will go, and in this case, I have my 3G SIM card in that SIM card slot. That again, there's only going to be an LTE model and a Wi Fi version, so you always will end up with the possibility of using an LTE compatible SIM card that will run you, uh, give you speeds of 150 at maximum 150 megabits a second. Up here we have the headset jack. On the right, this is the power button, and the other one right here is the volume rocker. And on the bottom, you get the micro USB port and a speech mic, because you can also use this device for making phone calls. Um, as you could see, there is no micro HDMI port on here, so you have to live without that in this case. So design-wise, the Lenovo Tab S8 is pretty attractive. They're, again, using pretty small bezels on here. What's also interesting is that this kind of reminds me of the OnePlus One because they're, uh, the display looks like propped on right here. The back cover is made out of plastic. There's going to be a blue version, a yellow version. There's, I think there's a gray version and this white model right here that has this um, very nice finish. It is kind of rubberized, but only slightly, so it doesn't slip from the hand. And it also has this kind of metallic shine to it, so that looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera right here. Again, it's very, very thin. What's also interesting is that they make it look a bit thinner from the sides right here, but uh, as the device will lay on the back that is a bit thicker in the middle, you won't have to worry about it uh, resting the weight on the camera right there. We have a big Lenovo logo up there, and down here is the Intel logo, just to remind you whose chip is in here. Regarding the build quality of this device, I have to mention that this is still a pre-production sample, so it's not fully up to par on build quality, but the only part where I really notice that is when you try to flex the device, and it kind of creaks a small 
bit, but that's the only thing I really noticed on this. There's another uh, fact where you will notice this in this video is because the uh, software is not fully optimized yet, so the store down here, the Play Store, doesn't work yet, for example, because this probably hasn't been certified by Google yet, so it doesn't work. Uh, other than that, the quality feels very nice. It's definitely one of the, the smallest and the most compact 8-inch tablets out on the market, and it is also very light and thin at just under 8 millimeters thickness, as I said. Now, let's go on to the display. Performance-wise, the Lenovo Tab S8 does a really good job, although it's one of the cheaper tablets on the market. It is running on the Intel Atom SoC, which is the reason why it's performing so well. Um, the device scores just over 35,000 points in Antutu. We scored just over 20,000 points in uh, quadrant benchmark as far as I remember and in 3d mark you get 15,654 points which is a pretty good value for a device at this price point and in general the performance seems very nice um, if we just go back to the home screen here you'll see that there's pretty much no stuttering or anything going on right here if I switch to Google and let's just move on to my review from the Surface Pro 3. Uh, scrolling through websites is pretty smooth too. You just have to make sure that they've loaded fully. In this case, it's a review, so that takes a while. Now it's fully loaded, and as you can see, scrolling is very smooth and quick too. There's no stuttering going on whatsoever on the screen as far as I could tell, apart from a bunch of bugs that are still left in this pre-production build of Android 4.4.2. To running on here. When playing games on the Lenovo Tab S8, you'll notice that the performance is pretty much decent. There is not really any points where this device is not able to keep up, um, but I guess there's a bunch of games that have super high resolution texture, textures and other stuff going on where the Intel uh, integrated graphics part on this device might not be fully up to par but that's to be expected but other than that in gaming it is really a nice performing device and everything also looks very nice because uh, the screen has such a high resolution I didn't notice any stutterings while playing games or uh, using the interface so far that's probably going to be even more optimized when this device comes to market in a bunch of months it's probably going to be out before uh, the Christmas period so as you can see here there's no starter going on and I've already set this to the highest graphics settings in Real Racing 3. So overall the performance on the Lenovo Tab S8 is really good at least for a device that is retailing for under 200 euros or US dollars and as you can see in this charge chart it is doing a very good job at this price point especially when you compare to the devices uh, running at, for example all winner SOCs or a rock chip SOCs that are normally the ones that are placed in those low-end tablets the camera on the Lenovo Tab S8 is definitely one of the better cameras that I've seen so far in tablets especially concerning again the price that is just under 200 US dollars and um, this is an 8 megapixel camera using a BSI sensor and it also has an LED flash it performs pretty well you'll see uh, that it is also capable of doing 1080p uh, full HD video there's gonna be a sample in this video too and uh, what's also pretty interesting is that it has a very reduced uh, camera interface the autofocus tends to be a bit slow so if you see that I move it from the background to the foreground and back again it might take a little while to focus but it definitely does a good job and it mostly hits the focus point uh, very very quickly shooting pictures uh, could from time to time take a bit of time because if you hit the button it might give a bit of a lag right here but I don't know if that might just be a thing that is going on in this pre-release build of the Android version that is going to be on this device when it goes to retail the photo quality overall is very very decent uh, at least when you have good lighting situations it will definitely give you pretty good pictures you can check the article uh, or review on mobilegeeks.com and .de for that and I might even put a p bunch of pictures in here um, other than that 
it, the performance in low light is again as on any other smartphone or tablet camera not going to be the best but it's been doing a pretty good job and overall the camera on the Lenovo Tab S8 is definitely one of the best uh, cameras that I've so far seen on a tablet. The interface is very very reduced you only have these controls up here and they show up in the middle of the screen and then you have a bunch of options you can set the HDR mode you can turn play around with the white balance you can also set uh, the uh, lighting conditions turn off the flash turn on the flash there's a panoramic mode but in this case the resolution drops to just 1536 by 564 pixels or something like that so panorama photos are not going to be the best in this case but overall again the quality of the camera of the Lenovo Tab S8 is definitely another good point for this device As I said, Lenovo has integrated two speakers on this device and they're situated on the front so they're blasting towards the user which is always a great point uh, when considering buying a tablet. What you have to remember though is when playing games you might end up covering the speakers with your uh, hands but in this case as you can see you're pretty much free to roam over there without uh, covering the uh, the, the, the speakers when you just consider that they're there and you'll probably notice when you can't hear the sound anymore, right? And let's just give you a quick impression of what the quality is like. So I started 3D Mark on here and I'm just going to tilt this device towards the uh, mic a bit and as you can hear it is a very nice sound. It's pretty clear and it's there's even a tiny touch of bass in there, so it's definitely one of the loudest and one of the best sounding tablets I've had so far. And now let's just take a quick listen. The Lenovo Tab S8 is running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, so I can show you that and just quickly switch to the settings menu right here. Let's go down to about the tablet, and there you go. It says Android 4.4.2 up there. And as you can also see, the design has kind of been inspired by another major smartphone manufacturer or tablet manufacturer. This reminds you, maybe reminds you of Apple's iOS and if you go to the front you'll also see that uh, most of the icons and the background kind of look a bit uh, like on the Apple devices but that's not necessarily uh, a bad thing there is no app drawer on this device so if you there's no chance you can hit this grid button down here and just switch to the app drawer so all the apps are placed on a bunch of home screens there's also uh, widgets and stuff Lenovo has its own widgets for example a media player and a weather widget and a bunch of others and if you hold the device right here you'll see that down there goes the widget menu the whole interface is slightly or pretty pretty heavily modified actually uh, compared to a standard Android version and it's definitely looking very nice I mean I like the fonts they're very crisp and they're good to read on the screen you'll see that the scaling has been modified a bit to make things look very small and um, yeah, maybe even a bit fragile. So if you look up here and look at the status bar right there with the icons and the clock, you'll see that it is compared uh, to the rest of the contents on the screen. It's very small. And I actually like that kind of design because it makes use of the high resolution and the uh, good possibilities. Uh, capabilities of this panel and you always are able to stuff a lot of content in here so yeah I like the uh, software on the Lenovo Tab S8 there's one thing I have to remember uh, to tell you is that this again is a pre-production model so it hasn't even been certified for the Google Play Store but it's already on here in this version and it will definitely work when it comes to market on this device it didn't 
and I had to use an alternative market, which in this case was the uh, One Mobile market. You will get a bunch of small modifications to the interface on this device. So if I swipe down here on any home screen, you'll see that up comes this uh, notification bar that we know from all other Android versions. So you don't always have to reach up here. If you do that on the right, there would be the quick settings menu where you can set stuff like the brightness. And here's the point again, you have to always set the brightness manually because this device doesn't have a brightness sensor on the front. Depends if you uh, are really dependent on this feature, but in this case, you will have to take care of modifying the uh, brightness yourself. There's also a bunch of other settings in here. For example, the speakers are also Dolby certified. You will be able to set a bunch of different um, settings in this special app. And there's also a bunch of Lenovo's own apps pre-installed, which are, for example, this Security HD, which I don't really like because I would love to choose the security solution on my tablet myself or maybe even leave it turned off, but I can't uninstall this. You can only deactivate it as far as I know. There is a Sync It HD uh, app in here that helps you synchronize stuff with other devices. Um, there's Clone It, so that's maybe, or that, that's not, not even maybe, but it's definitely uh, a broadcasting solution so you can uh, blast the stuff from the device to a, um, I think, Miracast or Wi-Fi Direct compatible receiver and connect this device to a TV. There's a sharing app. There's a bunch of other apps in here that are made by Lenovo themselves and that are definitely a nice addition. You have a file browser down here that also not only looks nice, but it also works very nice. So definitely does a good job for the basic stuff you need to do on these devices. There is no, pretty much no bloatware on here. I didn't really find anything that I found uh, annoying. There's a bunch of uh, apps pre-installed that I don't know if they're going to be in the final version of this device that are the game store right here that is just a basic and quick way to access some games. There's this streaming service down here for music that's probably not going to be on all devices in depending on where you live in the world. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What's also very nice and interesting is that this can also be used for making phone calls. So it has full um, GSM capabilities and you will definitely be able to make calls with this because this is using the Intel XMM 7160 LTE modem. The Lenovo Tab S8 has a 42 90 milliamp hour battery in here. So this is supposed to give you a runtime of just around seven hours, which is not the highest value compared to, for example, the iPads or other Android devices that score up to 10 hours, for example. And in testing this with Laptop Mag's battery tester, cheers goes out to uh, our friends at Laptop Mag, uh, we were able to score seven hours and 10 minutes. So what the, the software does is basically cycling through a ton of web pages constantly having the brightness set to 70%. We got just over seven hours, but you have to remember that I turned off the 4G modem to do those tests, just surfing through Wi-Fi. And if I turn on the modem and it is booked onto the network here in Germany. Maybe that's because of where I live and the reception isn't the, uh, the best. Um, we scored just uh, six hours and 30 minutes of the same testing. And in everyday use, I actually managed it to work through the day pretty well. So um, shouldn't be any problems. I had like three, three to four hours of web surfing going on. So using the screen all the time, playing a little, playing games and surfing the web through LTE and Wi-Fi. So I managed to easily get through the day with this device. So if you're asking yourself if the Lenovo Tab S8 could be for you, my answer would be, yeah, I guess it could be because this device has a lot to offer for a very low price. It's just under 200 euros. I guess the US price is going to be just under 200 US dollars and it will be dropping in price since there's a bunch of competition going on in the market. So this should be available for 180 euros, for example, for the Wi-Fi version. Again, 250 for the LTE model is very nice considering the fact that you can get, can get download speeds of up to 150 megabits a second. Uh, it has one of the best screens that I've seen so far on tablets. The blacks are just amazing. It also has a very good contrast. Color reproduction is nice. Viewing angles are very decent. Build quality 
will be probably all right when it comes to market. It is very thin and very light, just under 300 grams and 7.9 millimeters in thickness. I like the speakers that are on the front of the device, so these are definitely giving you one of the best experiences that I've had considering the uh, sound on a tablet. The camera is another thing that is really great on this device since an 8 megapixel shooter with an autofocus and an LED flash is not that common in the price point of just under 200 euros. And yeah, overall, the only thing that I can really gripe about is the battery life. So uh, it could be a bit longer, but seven hours should be enough for most cases, considering the fact that in this case, the screen was turned on at 70% all the time. So uh, in everyday life, you should easily be make it, able to make it through the day with this device. So that's been my review of the Lenovo Tab S8, and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. And if you like what we do on our channels, like the review for example, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.